Fala galera, meu nome é Arinho e seja bem-vindos a um novo vídeo. I really hope this guy isn't scarfed. <laughs> that's uh that's unfortunate. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys? I'm Cedinho here and welcome to a new video. Eu não falo português, mas você pode ligar as legendas para assistir. You can turn on the note, uh, you can turn on the subtitles if you are speaking Spanish or Portuguese. Uh, and you want to follow this video uh, if you cannot do it in English. <laughs> yeah, in the last video in our speed run to better in trainer season 10, I believe we ended at 568.72, uh, which means we uh, made it to Ace Trainer. And we're just gonna continue right from there. You guys know it. Um, if you are interested in the team, you can check it out on Patreon. There will be a poker based plus team building video on Patreon to check out for you. Uh, like any other videos, any other teams I use in my videos, you can check them all out there. There's much more to offer on Patreon, of course. And while we're at it, consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, by the time this video goes live, I think we. We'll already have 4,000 subscribers, so thank you guys for that. You are amazing. And yeah, consider joining our Discord server. And yeah, let's go on our way to 5,000, guys. But with, anyhow, without further ado, let's hop right into the battles and sit down, sit back, relax, enjoy the video. Sorry, I'm a... Okay, this is not this is not a game for Volcarona. <laughs> you gave me a choice scarf. Any forfeits cool. And start for the next one. Okay, let's see if we can find a battle now. Really strange that I couldn't find an opponent just yet. <laughs> Ooh, he looks like a trainer Drake. <laughs> yeah, from Elite Four. Um, okay, this game. Uh, if I get rid of Cofagrigus, I guess Scissor can be really good. Um, he doesn't have a Grass type resist on his team, so maybe Bloom can do a lot to him. Um, Volcarona can definitely do a lot. But I don't defend well versus Excadrill, so I gotta be a bit careful there. But yeah, we definitely want our rocks up. Race and cookins. Cool, I guess. And he leads he leads up with this guy. I could have led up with Starmie, bro. But I don't think I wanna take the dragon type attack now. But Scissor can be really good in the end game. Uh Bug Buzz he still has this guy. Um yeah, I don't really have a choice now. Toxic air. As he clicks Draco. Is that Life Orb? Not Life Orb. Okay. Um, now I assume he's gonna... Gonna go Dragonite there. It's not a, not a good matchup for me, this, but... Um, I don't wanna... I don't want to let it come down to a speed tie on on the stealth rock. And Garchomp can still get up rocks against the majority of his team. I'm um, actually against his whole team because um, I'm faster. If I can get it in for free, so I'm just going to go Dragonite there. I don't know if he wants to Draco again. Uh, but he decides to swap into the Rotom. Um, do I mind that here? I'm going to go Garchomp here. Cool, this works out and now I can get up my rocks. If I die here, that's fine. Maybe he misses Hydro, that can be a possibility too. But then I get him Berloom for free. Okay, I mean... That's fine. I'm getting him up. <laughs> but now nah, he, he doesn't miss Hydro, so that makes sense that he makes that play. 
However, I get Ember Loom, like I said. And we're just going to click Bullet C there. I don't have to click Spore here. It actually stays in. Hold up, bro. What are you doing, man? <laughs> are you crazy? You have a Confagrigus and a Reuniclus. Well, you had a re... <laughs> gonna spoil this I need to keep this though so what I'll actually do is I'll go Starmie here um, I don't really need Starmie but Starmie looks in case he goes into his guard jump here for example um, I have a good matchup against him um, but I don't need this Having him asleep, cool, I guess. He just, and his Rocky Helmet most likely as well. But I'm really surprised that he just stayed in with the Rotom. Like, what the heck, bro? It's your Defogger. Yeah, he's really weak. But I need to keep this because um, if it's my only way of killing Excadrill when he uh, is in the Sandstorm. That's why. Yeah, and he does make the Garchomp play. That's why I'm making this exact play. And I don't know if it's uh, sand something, but we're just going to Ice Beam. I have Analytic. I don't have to predict there. If the Renatar comes in, I'm just going to swap the Surf. And the Renatar is one. Because if I kill the Renatar, guys, then he doesn't get sand anymore. And then I win with Volcarona at the moment I set up. That's completely fine. Um, uh, I'm just going to take it. I'm just going to Surf here. Could have served right there, but I don't want him getting up Stealth Rock with his Garchomp. He clicks Stone Edge, is that even... Yeah, the Stone Edge is definitely click, bro. <laughs> okay. And... Scizor... Um... Scizor... Making bullets. Oh wait, that's that's a that's a big choke, bro. I know you want to keep that man alive, but now Garchomp dies. Like I know he wants to keep it alive for the sandstorm, but um, is it really worth? Because Garchomp is the only Pokemon that outspeeds Volcarona outside of sand. And I can still... Okay. Okay, cool. So you just gave me damage on guard. <laughs> I'll take it. I'm not sure if he wants to uh, rapid spin there. But he's not, he's not left over, so I assume he's live. So I'm just gonna bullet punch. Gonna guarantee me damage. <clears throat> Because Volcarona is going to be the real winner here. So, we pull the punch again. As he earthquakes, and I think he dies to Life Orb. That's pretty cool. And now I just go into the Mon. Um, yeah, he, he's an extreme speed range. I think I win with Dragonite. <clears throat> No, he goes free Nicholas. Okay. Let me just go hard full care. In case this is like a double dance set. Oh, it's Trick from. Um, I still have Machmich in the back, so... I am just gonna click Bug Buzz. Garchomp dies. Gotta stall for five turns. I literally gotta stall for five turns. He's gonna die to rocks afterwards, so... Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna sec Dragonite there. Fritz me, I definitely died to that. 
go this. So it's trick through. <coughs> to a to a Garchomp switch, to a Stone Edge. So I literally mock punch here. And then I hard switch into hard switch into Volcarona. Right? If I'm counting it wrong uh, correctly, right? So this is why we need a timer, boys. Um, Rick Room, the Garchum switch, the Renatar click Stone Edge, and I come out with Mark Punch. So yeah. On the next turn, um, Trick Room should end. Yep. And we're gonna click the Bug Buzz. Oh, that did, that did way too much. But it's, uh, it's fine. I, I needed to kill him on the turn that Trick Room said, and that was... That was it had to be he could have swapped to Kofagrigus, I guess. Uh, I guess that's a mistake on my part. I will still keep the technician though. We're just gonna bullet see there. Two, three, four, five. Okay, we got really fortunate in this game. I guess he thought he could 1v1 me, but he's asleep, bro. Ah, uh, but the thing is, if I stayed with Berloom, guys, if I stayed there with Berloom, uh, that would mean that... Because the thing is, guys, that, that was an offensive Reuniclus. So if I... If I stayed with Berloom... He's gonna. I would have died to Psy Shock, yeah, of course. But he he could have also made made the play that didn't, because he just needed to reset Trick Room and then he would win the game. I needed to stall Trick Room, but he attacked me. Instead of what he could have done was may, maybe kill an attack that doesn't kill me, hit, hit a move that doesn't kill me like a Shadow Ball, right? Because then he can reset the Trick Room on me and then he can win. But, uh, yeah, let, 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 let's say, let's say that I, uh, let's say we made the same play and he switched to Kofagrigus and I died to Sandstorm with Volcarona. Then I still click Bullet Seed with my uh, Berloom. And if I kill uh, his Kofagrigus, then I can Spore Reuniclus again. Which, And if I get two times Bullet Seed damage off on him, then uh, it should be fine as well. And I had Focus Sash still. Um, I, I'm not sure if, you, if the Tyranitar was Smooth Rock. But uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Basically my analysis. Okay guys, let's see what we'll face next. Okay, that's a bit annoying. I will still do the guard complete though. Uh, Spellbreak are going to be really valuable uh, for my team. He leads up with his Garchomp. Um, the Darmanitan is going to be such a pain. But if I do get up those rocks, it's going to be really helpful for me. So we're just going to Spellbreak here. Is this his Spellbreak? Is, is that the case? Oh, a dual chop. That is cool. It's going to take two times Spellbreak damage. So I do two times uh, rough skin damage, so I'll take it. Now I get in my Starmie. I just Surf here. I think we just Ice Beam. I have Rocks up. This is still Analytic Boosted, and I can just Surf on the next one, I think. Oh, he's spit death. I see. Well, I won't be playing with rocks this game, unfortunately. But uh, this is what. Oh, never mind. I killed him. 
It's crazy. <laughs> it's uh, crazy, bro. Okay, this comes in. Um, he's definitely gonna U-turn. Do I mind if I die with this? I mean, offensively, Starmie is really good versus him also against the Mungus. Uh, so do I just go Scizor? Do I just sack Scizor here? Actually, no, I'm, I'm sacking Breloom. I'm sacking Breloom in the sense that if he Flare Blitzes, he, uh, he was going to U-turn anyway. Um, so I assume Amoongus comes in. Amoongus should be coming in there. I meant it to take Rock's damage, so that's pretty nice. I'm going to Rock Tomb Pair. Should be speeding anyway, but is now I get another ice beam off with my Starmie. And if he dies, I don't think I'm going to need Scissor. So we just go Starmie again. <clears throat> His only resist is Scissor, but um, I guess it analytic boosted. I want to play around with this Dragonite. He has to come back in on rocks anyway. I get a critical analytic. Oh my god, this is a salt fest. Are you kidding me, bro? Are you actually kidding me, bro? Okay. I'm gonna go this. Doesn't seem like. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna fairy dance here. I needed this only for this anyway, so I think it's fine. It's a fine trade there. Um, the annoying thing is Garchomp could be coming in, but this is his ice type resist, and I am looking to win this game with Dragonite. I think. I can still use the star, so I really want to go scissor now, but I think it's better to keep the priority. Yeah, let's just let's just uh, let him extreme speed. Maybe I get the flame body. I only get the useless flame bodies, <laughs> fortunately, because <laughs> that flame body didn't do anything against scissor because I was killing him on that same turn. But now I get to bring in my Starmie again. Why are my Ice Beams doing zero damage though? That's what I want to know. Dragonite is going down. Hermanitan is going to come in. The sun is gone, so... Wait, he goes Karchum? Why is he going Karchum? Huh? Are you are you Yachi Berry? What? What is the what is the big idea, bro? You have a you have a scarved arm. Whatever, man. Whatever, man. I'm gonna go into Dragonite here. At this time. At this moment, I can just afford to go Dragonite. He goes Rook Slide, meaning I can go with Scissor next time. It's gonna be fine. I'm just gonna extreme speed. Knock him out. Perfect. And we're just gonna. Another Dragon Clyre. Use my uh, Dragon Jam. Get a bit of damage off there. Oh, he has to support me anyway. 
And since there's no sun this time, I can just go into scissor. In, 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 in case he is uh, using synthesis on this on this guy. Because Giga Drain is obviously not doing anything to me. And now I can just click Bug Bite. And knock him out. As my opponent decides to forfeit. Cool. So. Pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, let's see if we can hit six, 600 here. I don't want to face that same guy though, with the brain team. <laughs> Which made me lose. Okay. Um, so, Rock Doom from Reloom seems pretty decent against this team. He doesn't have a Dragon type resist, though, uh, because not a fairy type. I can definitely do a lot of them harm to him with my Dragonite. Um, Pokemon I could potentially set up on are Chansey, Volcarona, and Espion. Those are the potential things I can set up on. But uh, yeah, in terms of lead... I don't want to lead Volk, but... I'm going to lead with Garchomp. Uh, I want to see how my opponent uh, is going to play this out. I am not gonna drag. It's a low ranking player anyway, so I'm just gonna Dragon Claw here. Maybe he just goes Espion. He doesn't. Is he gonna attack me? Okay, he isn't. And I am actually gonna click Stealth Rock here, because this is an opportunity to get up my rocks. He, he, takes, he, he takes rough skin damage two times, that's why. Um, Like, I don't even have to play the mind game around the Espion, he just gives me rocks. But that's pretty cool. Um, unless Togekiss or Hydreigon or Dragonite are defog, I don't think... Uh, I don't think it will be. So, that's cool. I'm gonna take the rough skin damage on him one more time. And I'm not sure if Scissor knocks him out, to be honest. Um, I am life warped, but yeah, it is a... It is a Dragonite we're talking about, bro. Doing 45 min. Uh, that's a bit disappointing, because... Because I'm going to die to Fire Punch, so... I think that I'm unfortunately forced to go Dragonite. Actually, I am not. I can still go Scissor. Or I can I can go Berloom here. I think maybe going Berloom is better. With Berloom, I can just Rock Tomb, right? Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd rather Rock Tomb and not lose it, not lose a Mon. Because if I go Scissor, I lose a Pokemon. This way, I keep an extra sec against him. Um, so we're just gonna Rock Tomb pair. No reason to spore, because if he switches, I want something taking the damage. But I got the rocks up, which is really nice, so if he switches, it's gonna be fine. Um, yeah, like I said, Breloom does match up really well against him, too, with the Rock Tomb. But uh, now it's just a matter of not allowing full Corona to set up for free. Which he cannot really do against my team, uh, regardless, because... Um, at the rocks, the majority of my team will knock him out. And that was a big delay, bro. I, I thought I missed there. Oh, that would have been crazy, man. Would have been crazy. A dragon comes in, so I actually get to mock punch this too, which puts it into a range of scissor. So that's cool. Um, I don't think I knock it out with ice beam either. Uh, from Phil, at least. Might be wrong. The High Dragon is really bulky. I, I wouldn't have killed him with High Beam either. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see. What is the best positioning for me? I think it's go. It, I think it's going Dragonite and then use Extreme Speed.
Because if Chansey comes up, comes in, I think I get a sword stance with Scizor. But I want to make sure Hydreigon is dead though, first. I really hope this guy isn't scarfed. That's uh That's unfortunate. <laughs> I should have just dragon clawed him then. I I guess this I guess I had this coming. I guess I had this coming. But I have a choice scarf, which means I can just spend Dragon Claw. Maybe I, I maybe I outspeed Espion. But I'm just gonna Ice Beam there. At this point. Um if Chansey comes in, it's fine, I guess. I'm gonna go hard scissor and I'm gonna sword stance and I think I win the game with Steldra Cup. Oh. Um That is a bit worrisome actually. You gonna teleport there? Almost bro. Almost, almost. You almost had me there. You almost had me there, bro. Wish counter, seriously, bro. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, I should win now. Um, to Togekiss is not behind the sash anymore. And I'm at plus two. Because I needed to be at plus two, but now I should be able to just bullet punch him. He does get the flame. Why can't why can't my oh shit, he's actually bulky. Okay. Well at least uh <laughs> at least he didn't roost. He didn't have roost. I wow. I thought I would kill. I, is that is this normal? Is he is he really bulky or Yeah. This guy's running max HP on this guy. I think I it's even he even has some defensive ease like this is a really bulky folk fuck man anyhow uh, let's just go star me like surf and there should be no way and I'm losing uh, at this point damn what a strange team Logikiss comes in. And we're just gonna Ice Beam. Let's see how much we do. Goodbye. And Espion comes in. Cool. Uh, we're surfing here. I have a Choice Scarf Dragonite in the back, which should outspeed him. If my Dragonite, if my Starmie is fast, and the Dragonite is faster too. And he uses Toxic. Okay, so is that, is that it, bro? Interesting. Interesting. So, you welcome to the end of the video, guys. Thank you for watching till this part of the video. Um, as you guys saw, uh, we are one win, one win away from reaching 600 um, rating, which obviously we're definitely going to do in the next episode. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me one of these. Leave a comment down below as well. Subscribe to the channel. And yeah, if you want to check out this team, you can do this on Patreon. That will be a poker paste with all the information on the team and a team building video on this team, sharing my thoughts and strategies on how to play this team. And also uh, check out our Discord server. I offer much more on Patreon as well. Team building support and uh, a pvp course slash coaching um if you guys want to take your pvp skills to the next level yeah guys with that all being said though i hope you have a wonderful day and i hope to see you in the next video peace out